What it is, what it is, y'all already know we back again. I got you covered with some more media, man, more content that we create. Y'all already know you can get the replay right here in case you missed out. You know we got ya. Before we get started though, one thing we ask, hit the like button one time, paint it blue for us. Salute, salute to you for being true. Let's get straight to it then. We over here with J-H-E, Ruger, man. That's right, Ruger, Mr. GD's at the door. I had to send out a message and pretty much send a very, very, very polite message to J Main. Pretty much saying, "Stop over whooping, man. You read, you are overdoing it. You are over whooping with this interviews you did on No Jumper, trying to play this little narrative that you know you're beefing now with Ruga, that you're beefing now with King Yella. But in reality, man, it's all lies." And let's be real, this ain't the first time Jermaine lies to the public, lies to on his social media about everything he's done in his career, man. The whole, even I think now it's coming down to, is he even a savage? Is he, was he even putting work? Was he even, you know, blicking at people? I don't know, man. There's so much fake narratives, man. Remember that one video where... J Main made it seem like he was getting clapped at by the ops while being on live. Oh, folks. Hey, oh. look, I ain't, I ain't no finna, uh, his merch, you know. Bro, what the? What the? Where you at, short? Ain't no fucking way. They was just blowing like a. And then there's that other time where. You know, he made it seem like Lil Durk and OTF had signed him. Then now he had this fake little beef with King Yella. Then they reunited, hugged, and then now they're re-beefing again. It's like they're trying to make these fake beef, fake narratives so that, you know, they think interviewers are going to reach out to them and want to re-interview them. So pretty much that's another paycheck for them. You know, it's like a new story developing about J. May now beefing. We need to get him back here so we can question him and put it out. It's all cat. You know, man, shout out Ruga for being real and just pretty much putting him on G-Check, man. Tying up, man, you, you big cap with this. You're making yourself look real more goofier. It's starting to get old if you're going to go this way, this route. It's not the route to keep, you know, thinking you're going to stay on the spotlight. Let's get straight to the interview. Y'all already know, I got you. Hit the like button, subscribe, I'm out. Well, no, though. So basically, J Man, folk. Now, why would you get on that internet and play on that interview like that, folk? This the thing, though, folk. If you want troll, you know what I'm saying? I just got off the phone with you, gang. You talking about um, you trying to troll and go make an interview behind it and keep it going. I can't do the internet beef. I can't do the fake beef, folk. Like, that just ain't me, folk. I can't do fake beef, folk. Like, you telling me to fake beef with you on the internet, I can't do it, gang. Just stop. Leave me alone, for I don't know what you and folks got going on. Y'all do y'all thing, for Leave me alone with that, for Now, as far as with the skits, that's cool. You feel me? We do skits. We could, you know what I'm saying? We plan what we gonna do with the skit. That's cool. I understand that. That's understandable. But when you go on a big platform and get the saying shit like that, and you ain't even... Now, I can see if you called me and was like, Rude, I'm finna... Tweet with y'all on here or something, then maybe I maybe would consider it if you chopped it up with me about it. But don't get on there and make it and do that, fo. Like, and you troll and plan, fo. But I get it. You troll, that's how you make your money. I ain't knocking it, bro. You feel me? But I just can't fake beef, fo. I can't do the fake beef, fo. I'm not good at it. I don't do it, fo. Leave me out of that shit, fo. Stop doing it with me, fo. You cool.